Well, welcome back to Rimon, and apparently, um, those tribes people that we had at our base, uh, shot dead the raider. As in, completely killed them dead. A little bit annoying, because I did want to recruit them. Never mind then. Okay, well that's fine. Where's the other queen right now? She completely missed out on all the action. She's gonna be gutted to hear that, seeing as she loves a good old murder. We've got Diswaltney down there, using the latrine, as we would expect from Diswaltney. That's just about the most use that he's gonna be this entire campaign. Alrang, actually feeding the colonists. Unbelievable, what a great guy. Look at this. Oh, we've, we've got cotton as well. Oh shit, that's incredible. Okay, we can do so much more now then. Now, do we want to maybe just let Diswaltney handle all of the farming? I'm kind of inclined to say that, yeah. So we're actually going to let Elrang take the uh, take the back burner a little bit on the growing and instead focus on his research, which is exactly what he should be doing. Hey, do you want to actually go and do that right now rather than hauling the cloth? Good work. We've got... One thing that we did have last episode was an issue with the, with the food, obviously. We still got low food, apparently, because Jerry King is refusing to... Uh... Oh, he's cooking four fine meals? The madman. My god, fine meals and we're low on food. Okay, if you, if you think so, that's fine. Look at these guys. They're going to love that. So that obviously gives them a mood boost because they're eating. Observe rotting corpse. Ate without a table. Again, you, you definitely ate with a table there. Let's give them the mood boost because they ate a really good meal. Cooked up by Lord and Savior Jerry King. This won't eat. It, I feel like he should be in charge of the farm from now on, you know, because he really doesn't do much else. And over time, he's obviously going to build up his skill in farming. So it will give him it will give him something, you know, it gives him that niche to focus on. Definitely going to be our top 100% grower there. What else have we got? Everqueen. What are you good at? Shooting and hauling things, basically, and that's it. Why is there a tortoise, a dead tortoise in our kitchen? Not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and haul that out of there. Nice. Jerry King is going to cook all that he can as much as he can. You know what? Let's just let's just have those hauled. Jerry King's going back and forth and back and forth again. We'll, we'll prioritize hauling those just so he doesn't keep doing this. Nice. Uh, do you want to haul that one as well? No. Do we not want that rice anymore, Jerry? All right. Let's ignore that one. Oh, right. There's the rotting corpse. Um... We'll set her to haul urgently. Everqueen herself will probably haul that one. Just because she's a psychopath. So she doesn't care if we've got, you know, dead bodies lying around. Low food? Really? Still? Full bars worth of food and storage 15. Colonists and prisoners get food for... Oh, we've only got three days worth of food. Okay, fine. You know what? Understandable. They can eat raw rice. Obviously, they can eat raw strawberries when those grown as well. So it's a very minor concern right now, to be completely honest with you. Well, when she's quite done having a friggin' lie in, we'll try and get rid of this damn corpse before it makes everyone more and more upset. Now, I've said it before... I'm going to say it again. This episode, we focus on the important thing that is uh, plumbing. You know, we actually do need plumbing. We have got the hygiene mod there, and it is pretty important. So what do we what do we not got? Okay, we need steel pipes running all the way down this back wall. We don't need one bright in the corner, I suppose. That's me being a little overzealous there. Let's get those finished off. Jerry King, um, are you still not done cooking? The dog's eating it faster than he can frigging cook. How much did I set him to cook in hindsight? Uh, 25 meals. Okay, understandable. You know what? That's a pretty decent amount, I think. Dog, do not eat my meals, for God's sake. This one, he needs to hurry up and finish farming so he can come back and clean the house. Now, obviously, you know, farming, a little bit more important, I'd say, than uh, cleaning the house, to be honest with you. So, fair enough. Okay, you carry on, my friend. Our rank should be researching carpets. We won't have to worry about cleaning as much soon. If we just put down a carpet outside the front door there, they'll stop traipsing in this much dirt. And if we finish actually flooring the bathrooms as well with, what we go for, paved tile, maybe? Sure. Paved tile in the bathroom sort of makes sense to me. That will hopefully stop them getting any dirt across the house at all. we just got to worry about the damn dog leaving a mess everywhere at that point. Everqueen's still hauling those out, so she's got something to do. She's got a lot of work cut out for her there. Diswaltney is fucking up every harvest of these strawberries. Oh, no, wait. They're just they're just blue. Like They look like blueberries, but they're actually just regular berries there. Okay, understandable. So, again, those can be eaten raw. So, those are going to definitely contribute to the amount of food that we've got kicking around. What else have we got? We've got root. Corn is nowhere near grown. Potatoes are growing, but very slowly. And, of course, the cotton as well. Have we got a decent... We've got a shit ton of electric. You know what? We can actually afford to, um... Probably go for some more electrical appliances here. So let's see what we've got. Production. Um... Electric smelter. Not a bad plan. The electric smelter would obviously let us craft... Uh... Metal goods. Steel goods. But it will also allow us to smelt down slag. We're not particularly desperately in need of any steel right now. So that's probably not too necessary. Um... Honestly, none of this is really necessary at this stage. We've got things like prosthetics workbench. No one's missing any limbs, so that's not necessary. A hand tailor bench is for making clothes. An electric tailor bench also makes clothes, but it's electric power, so it's quicker. Um, again, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think none of these are really, really worthwhile yet. What we do need, though, couch, as we like to call in the UK, a sofa. Um, let's go for the couch. Let's build ourselves a nice little recreation area, because right now they don't really have any sort of relaxation besides, I guess, really lying in bed. Can they do much else besides that? Let's cancel that one. 
We'll make it a four-person couch. So if they all want to sit down and watch a film together, uh, then that's understandable. Can we actually build a TV, though? Uh, what would that be like? Furniture, maybe? Recreation, maybe? No? We can build them a billiards table. Hey, that's pretty luxurious. Let's go for a billiards table. Holy shit. Jerry King, if you want to actually stop... What sort of meal are you making out of 41 berries, you madman? How has he not cooked enough meals? Okay, he only needs to cook one more set of meals, and then that bill will go on pause for us. We will actually be free to do something else for a change. Um, has he slept? Recreation? Rest? Well, it's only just turning nighttime and he's awake. So, obviously, Jerry King being the night owl should be asleep during the daytime. Maybe he's just woken up, or at least not long woken up. Is that... Yeah, paused. Right, okay. What's he going on to now? Harvesting berry bush. Can you actually, you know, build these, though? That would be nice. Why is he set to harvest? Oh, construction... Wait, construction is still above harvest, though. Construction and deconstruct... Oh, that's Elrang, you fool. Um, Jerry King. Construction and deconstruction is still set above priority, but we'll set that maximum as well. Um... We'll set you guys to all be able to do that. Because you're pretty good at it as well. This one, he can definitely deconstruct. Jerry King is hauling the cloth over to the billiards table. Hopefully, we'll get the sofa from the billiards table built. So that next time recreation comes around, they can actually have a lot of decent fun there. You know, they can relax. They can play a fun little game together. Hey, that's that's nice. That's a nice change. I'm glad we're prioritizing. They haven't got hot water. They haven't got plumbing. They haven't got any sort of bathroom. But they do have a billiards table. So I feel like we've really done ourselves a, um, done ourselves a favor with that put them a plant pot down here and there just to make the place look a little bit nicer. Actually, we'll put this down just about everywhere we can. It's a really cheap way of making the place look a little bit more homely, you know. Um, we get a couple down here and there. We'll expand that one back out because that was me being a fool. Nice. I like that. I feel like we've done a good job. He's building up the sofa now. What quality are we going to get? Come on, Jerry King. Oh, that, but that apparently doesn't have a quality. It's just, just set. Okay, understandable. Have a great day. Have we got enough cloth left for the entire sofa? I feel like we don't. Oh my god, there are 100 per piece? Jesus. Okay, well that's going to take quite a while then before, we, before we've got enough. Yeah, we've only got another 50 there as well. So we can finish this end piece, and that's it. Damn it, we're so close to being just so great. Just, just the greatest colony, and we actually can't do it. Did you finish the uh, the carpet making? Alright, you have one job, and that's learn how to make carpets. Where is he right now? So what we can do is we can speed up our research, and that's probably the best thing to do right now by building a powered research bench, like a computer-powered research bench. Um, requires electricity, obviously. Probably not a bad plan, though. Let's take a look in production. Now, before we do that, I think we have to research it. So, research microelectronics. That's what we need. So we need to get microelectronics. That allows us to build a multi-analyzer. Multi-analyzer is essentially the, the next level up from, you know, your sort of basic researching there. Where the hell is it? I'm trying to find it in this absolute mess of... There we are. Multi-analyzer, what do we need for that? We need microelectronics, then we need the multi-analyzer. Oh god, finish the carpets first. Come on, priorities here. Get rid of that. Right, scroll back up. Where are my carpets? Right, carpets. Now, after you've done that, I'm going to need the microelectronics, followed up by the multi-analyzer. Missing high-tech research bench. Oh, wait, maybe we can just build one already then. Am I going crazy? Um... No? No, I'm not going crazy. Oh, maybe... Bear with me. Maybe Microelectronics unlocks the research bench. I remember. It's all coming back to me. Like I said, I haven't played RimWorld in about four or five patches. So, do need to get back on the on the, on the the RimWorld wagon here. So, is this going to be the episode where we actually finish the plumbing? Hopefully. Then we can move on to the important stuff, like killing each other horribly in an arena. I'm going to say the ultimate champion gets to fight the Everqueen. Because, honestly, I feel like she would just kill you all. Ooh. A friendly AI from your past named Charlton Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its coordinates. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive. Defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence commence. If you can get the ship off the ground, he will take you off this room world to the star. So that is our escape route. If we want to take it, we don't have to take it. But that is one way off of this planet and onto a different one if we wanted to do that. Or just, you know, to end the campaign. We're not going to do that because that would be ridiculous. We want to build an arena on a planet where we are the king. You know, why would we want to leave? Look at this place. It's practically luxury. We've got billiards table and everything. Run out of steel. We've run out of wood. The building can't continue. We're going to have to actually set people to um, to go ahead and mine now. So what actions have we got? Do we not have ore miner? We don't have the ore miner mod. Okay, I'm going to go and get that one. Then we can mine efficiently and safely. 
we get too far into this episode, I just thought I'd ask you guys, how do you want me to, to present these episodes? Would you prefer it heavily edited where we see the highlights up until we get to the arena bit? Or would you prefer it as we play now, just casual RimWorld, a few cuts here and there when nothing is particularly happening, or when we went for Jerry King to get off his fat ass and actually build something? Or would you prefer it to, again, be heavily edited, cut it into the really important stuff, the sort of big moments when we've actually finished off building, rather than just sitting here, again, waiting for Jerry King to be uh, awake and ready to go? Let me know what you think. But for now, I'll finish this episode as we started it, which is in that sort of traditional sort of RimWorld playthrough style. I don't, wouldn't mind changing over at this stage of the campaign, just because I feel like anybody who hasn't played RimWorld as before has got a good idea of what's happening in it. And I want, it to, I want us to be able to see the new stuff, you know, and I want us to be able to go for that crazy arena plan. I don't mind doing either, I honestly don't, but it's up to you guys which you would prefer to see. That being said, we now have the important and essential task of building a carpet. I know, I know it's been a long time coming. How the fuck do we build a carpet, though? M Misk? Misk? Doormat. Excellent. Plain leather? What? Panther fur doormat. I've never heard of anything so awesome in my life. Um, wow, that is actually a, a panther fur doormat, eh? Jerry King, I need you to wake up a second and finish this off so the house doesn't get any dirtier. My god. He actually did it instantly. The moment. You can go back to bed now. Like, you can legitimately go. You don't have to stay awake. I know that it's... Oh, okay. It's three in the afternoon, so he wasn't too far off of waking up anyway. That's so cool. So, that's going to prevent mud being dragged into the house. So, what we'll do is we'll get Diz Walton here, who's apparently busy harvesting crops, I suppose. Um, Elrang, help Diz Walton grow crops. Diz Walton, I need you cleaning, my friend. I need you cleaning pretty as soon as possible, because that house is, a, is an absolute tip. Go actually get him to prioritize that. Yeah, prioritize cleaning the dirt, my friend. Good. Once the house is clean, in theory, we won't have to clean it again for a while, because, again, we've got that doormat now, so that's going to stop them traipsing mud into the damn place. Now, what we would like is to be able to, you know, put floors into the living room as well. We got ore miner. That's what we were doing. We got ore miner, which means we can now find some iron ore, wherever the hell there is some. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Hacker voice. Uh, ha Hacker voice, you failed me. Hacker voice, I can't damn find any iron. Um, or, or steel. It's called compacted steel now, isn't it? What? Am I actually blind? Iron? Steel? I'm sorry, are we on a map with no... There's gold. Uh, there's compacted machinery. There's some. Oh, but it's all the way in the bug cave. There's some over there. Okay, that's quite far away. I'd rather not. There's some there. There's a little bit there. Is that really the closest we've got? That doesn't seem right at all. Okay, I can't argue with it, though, because I think it actually is from what I can see. Oh, there's some. Okay, by the rhinos. So what we do, strip miner, boom. Nope, that's not the right one. We want, um, designate vein. Vein miner, there we are, boom. So now... Whoever's on mining, I guess it's going to be Jerry King, let's be honest. Oh, the Everqueen can also do that. Everqueen, you have nothing else to do really besides hauling. You are our second backup miner. She's moving all of this crappy stone anyway. So Jerry King can chop down trees. He can go mining, get himself some materials. But he's going to finish off building what we actually want him to build here, which is quite nice. Elrang's going to bed. Jerry King, what is he up to now? Cutting down trees? Oh, he's actually going to start laying the pipes. So the only reason I actually wanted him to get some steel is because I thought we were out. Um, he created a wooden end table masterwork. Well, that's going to keep Elrang a little happier, I suppose. Nice, he's actually going to start laying the floors as well. Oh, you're such a great guy, Jerry King. Although, digging at compact steel, I was just about to say, if you want to start mining and actually work on, you know, the pipes that I've been bigging up for the past three episodes, that would be fine as well. And he's actually going to do it. In or at the size of this lad. Oh, it's going to take him a while, though. He's not the best miner in the world. Hmm. All right, we'll give him some chance. Hang on, wait. We want to set mining higher than construction now. So that he will mine... And then go ahead and carry everything back in one fell swoop like I, like I showed off before. So that's probably enough for now. Um, sorry? Mad rat? A local rat has gone mad. It will take everyone and sees it's right next to Jerry King. Oh my god. He doesn't have a weapon. Everqueen? Um, I'm gonna need you to come and save Jerry King's life. Because this man is not gonna be able to defend himself at all. Jerry? You actually need to run. Jerry, run. Oh my god, Jerry's being killed by a fucking rat. Bad hygiene moderate. Scratch rat paw. Where are you going, you fool? Why is he running that way? Run in the direction of the Everqueen. Go, run, Jerry King. <gasps> did he Did he kill it? No, it's just injured. Oh, shit, it's after him. Jerry, run. He could probably fight back and win, but I also don't want to risk him getting some severe injury here. Right, Everqueen, put him down. She missed. Oh, my God, what an incredible shot, though. Oh, my God, she was so close that time. Like, legitimately. Holy shit, the highlight of the series right there. Oh, that was close. Um, so he needs tending to. So he's actually going to now go to bed and rest because, you know, otherwise he's going to bleed to death, unfortunately. Death in 16 hours because of a freaking rat. He got bitten 
on his right leg. Oh, sorry, scratched on his right leg, bitten on his torso. How did a rat scratch him on the neck? Understandable. Apparently, it's some sort of ninja rat. Um, the chief of the white antelope type tribe has died. Okay, great. We don't really care that much. Diz has experienced an inspiration. He will successfully recruit the next prisoner, regardless of difficulty or resistance. Great joke. I mean, we don't have any, but, you know, great joke besides that. Evergreen, I need you to go and tend to Jerry King, who's been apparently gored by a friggin' rat chewing out his neck. Is he going to be all right? Death in 15 hours. Holy shit. Go and cure my man. Without him, this colony is doomed. Oh, nice. Quality 97%. He is he's going to be back up on his feet in no time whatsoever. In fact, he's going to be so up on his feet in no time whatsoever. I'm going to stop him bed resting. Hey, Jerry, get up and get back to work. Hey, get, get back to work, though. No, stop. Bed resting is set to... Oh, right, that was... No, wait, that was Jerry King. Bed rest. Fine, you know what? I don't even care. Just stay there. Just stay there and heal. I suppose you were almost killed by rats. That's understandable. Why is that torso's rotten in our freezer? Oh, because that one's... <sighs> so I forgot to change the temperature on the other... On the other cooler there. Oh, wait, they're both set to 21 degrees. Why is that? I definitely set both of those to minus 9 degrees. Um, huh. Well, that explains why we've been running out of food, because apparently it's all been rotting away in this 21 degree freezer. So we get this damn turtle out of here. I can't believe that. What a fool. <laughs> so annoyed. So that's, that's tilted me beyond all, all reasonable doubt. Okay, I'll rank all of you researching right now. My friend was still going for microelectronics. Understandable, because that will speed up research in the future. The house is looking nice, you know. We've got a lot of disease infection. Holy shit, he got an infection from the rat. Okay, cause the rat used a forceful right claw to scratch Jerry. This might actually kill him dead. You need to get back to bed and be healed from your infection immediately, my friend. Why is he Why is he doing this? The one time we actually wanted to go back to bed and, and rest up, he's not doing it. Right, Evergreen needs to tend to this infection immediately. So that's going to need constant tending. If we're not careful, that could eventually kill him, as I said. We could be seeing a major infection from this. Okay, that's pretty good. Immunity is 10% and it's still only mine. We do need to keep a very, very close eye on that. We need to make sure our Everqueen is awake, ready the next time he needs tending, which is going to be... When is that? Can we tend in 10 hours? Okay. So in 10 hours, we need to tending again immediately, as soon as possible. Because we don't want to let this get out of hand, because that will be a snowball effect. You know, the effect should go for minor. Major is harder to tend and it'll also be more severe. And then that'll eventually flip it to extreme and then he'll die. Jerry King, if you die, this, this campaign is genuinely over. it has gone. No, it's there. It's still there. The, the, the injury went. Okay, so three more hours. Genuinely, I thought that completely disappeared then. Three more hours, two more hours, and then we've got to wake Everqueen up and actually get her to... Actually, she might be awake. Two o'clock, three o'clock. Uh, she'll just about be awake, I think. Can we tend in one hour? The second we've got it, we need to do it. Come on, wake up. What is wrong with you? Why are you sleeping for so long compared to everyone else? Uh, Needs? Okay, she's almost awake. You know what? We'll just let her have a good night's sleep because she's more likely to tend him well if she... Uh, if she does that. Hey, get back into bed, you fool. He's tending himself? Why did you do that? You madman. Everqueen was so much better at tending you. Okay, you know what? That's fine. We could just let Jerry King do his own thing there if he's going to tend to himself. Whatever. So, the bathrooms still need doing as soon as possible. We don't have any wood, I'm assuming. No, we do have wood. Why are the floors not being built? Is it because Jerry King's apparently dying? Yeah, that's probably it. Um, We could do with another builder. Honestly, progress has slowed a lot because we've only got one builder. More specifically, everyone's specialized. What's Diz Wantley doing right now? Hauling some steel over to the tool cabinet, understandable. So he's going to try and finish those off, I guess? Yeah, actually, that's not he's not too far off of finishing that. Jerry, how are you doing? Relaxing socially. It's almost time for him to go back to bed because he is, um, you know, a night owl, so he does need to go to sleep soon. It's turned into an, a major infection. Shit. As long as the immunity goes up quicker than the top line there, the infection brackets major line, as long as the immunity is higher than that, he should be okay. But obviously, as... It's a worse tent quality. That is going to start going up quicker. Again, if if we get unlucky and he gets a bad tent quality, this the infection could catch up and beat him. I think he's going to be fine, though. Realistically, I think he's going to be fine, just based on the numbers alone. I don't think we've got anything to worry about. Look at this farm, though. Look at what Diz Waltney has done for this base. For once in his useless, useless life, the man has actually created us a pretty decent farm. Although, Grantley has just left it outside to rot, which is, which is understandable. Um... Does one of you actually want to carry it into the friggin' house? The amount of effort that's gone into growing these crops, you think they'd probably want to keep them around, eh? Um, the, the downside is we do need somebody on hauling. Because obviously if there's a better better task than to do than just hauling anything, they will do it. 
Oh, that's understandable. Is this one blocked? Blocked by fucking... Oh, get out. Get out of the way, tree. What we should ideally do then. Let's have a look at our windmills. I'm actually just going to pave all the ground in front of them to prevent more trees growing. So if we go uh, floors, we'll just take concrete and we'll just pave the whole thing over. Is it going to look ugly? Yes. Is it going to help with power efficiency? Yes. And that's the main thing. That's all I really care about. That's not blocked by anything. But again, just to make sure that we don't get things like this happening in the future. We can pave over it. Nice. What we could do is pave around the entire farms. Why? We'll stop them traipsing dirt everywhere for a start. So that'll help out. It'll also allow them to move faster. You, it's quick to walk on. So it will make things a little bit more efficient here and there. It'll look kind of nice. It won't look great because it's concrete. But it, it, it will give things a nice border, you know? Um, let's, let's just pave over the whole fucking thing. Great. Um, you guys can build a little path between here and... Oh, God, that swamp, really? That's annoying. Trek, I can't believe you've done this. There we go. All right, that's fine. That should be okay. It's not going to look too nice, but it's not going to look too terrible either. And obviously, we can use this area to build on in the future. Now, again, I'd like to get these friggin' pipes done. But apparently, are we just completely out of steel? Is that, is that what's happening right now? No, we've got plenty of steel. Jerry's too busy cooking. Jerry, we've got four simple meals, my friend. Oh, because they all rotted in storage. Okay, understandable. I don't understand why. There's an issue with my jobs that is preventing Jerry King. We'll keep a close eye on Jerry King. You know what? In fact, I'm just going to cancel all these jobs until the fucking plumbing is built. Because honestly, it's been three episodes of me saying, hey, we'll get the plumbing done soon. I'm making it happen. You know what, Jerry King? I've left you for your own devices for too long. I've sang your praises too much. You failed me. I'm going to be honest. You've, you've completely failed me at this stage, my friend. Digging at compacted steel. Fine. You know what? I'll allow it. I was going to say that's not building the pipes, but it actually, it might help a little bit. So I'll give him some credit. We're going to set this to be hauled urgently. So hopefully somebody will take this over into storage. I don't care who it is that does it. Either Diz Waltney or Elrang or the Everqueen or somebody. What's he doing? Eating a meal? Sowing the farms? I think the farms might be too big. I'm going to be honest. I'm actually going to reduce the size of the farms just because I don't think we need th this much stuff. So th the cotton takes so long to grow that it's not necessary to clear that one. The same with the strawberries. What I am going to do, though, is... Shrink zones. Reduce the amount of corn by quite a significant amount. Reduce the amount of potatoes by quite a significant amount. Heel root, again, takes a long time to grow. Rice takes is so quick to grow that we don't need this much because they're just leaving it outside to rot. And this is going to free those guys up to actually do something more important than, you know, constantly growing crops there. What's he going to do now? Let's, let's keep an eye on him. Once he's replanted the farm... Yeah, there we go. He's back to researching. This Walton is going to be freed up now as well, thank God. Cleaning dirt. Is that really the best you can do right now for me? Oh, he can't haul, can he? Because he's freaking useless. Well, we can harvest the heal root, which is obviously good because we do need a little bit more medicine as and when we can get it. Um, cleaning trash. Okay, here's the plan. This won't he? Oh, he hates doing it. Ugh. We need someone to haul, but everyone's got their jobs that I can't really afford to... <sighs> Everqueen, okay, you're your premium hauler. Whatever. Okay, just get on with it. As long as... I don't like leaving these crops out to uh, rot away. We've almost finished. This is what's taken up a lot of our time is, is these bathrooms. You know, the Everqueen is basically stuck constantly hauling stone bricks over and over. And actually what we could do here to make things a little more efficient. Shrink these zones down to the, a more usable size. Because she's traipsing all the way out over here to places rocks when this area's still got plenty of room in it. So we'll do that first. She's gathering steel to hauling inventory. Okay, she's actually going to take the, the steel back to base now, which is exactly what we need to finish off. Brace yourselves for it. The plumbing. Yes. Finally, we can actually get this friggin' done. Ah, stressing me out with their... My. Okay, it's my fault. My inefficient job management system. But you know what? This is, this is a new leaf. I've turned over a new leaf. I'm actually going to try and manage things a little bit more efficiently now rather than just leaving them to their own devices and letting time tick. Because honestly, the longer we wait, the bigger the raids are going to get and the harder the game is going to get. And we need to be more efficient with it because we're going to get completely smashed by everyone and their mother if we're not careful. All right, Everqueen. She's carrying a lot of steel, actually. To her credit, she's got a shit ton of steel here. Look at this. That's so much steel. Now, Jerry King, I need you not... Com no, no more digging. No more digging for you, Jerry King. Um, mining? Not anymore. You are premium construction boy, 100%. Consuming simple meal? Yeah. Praying? Praying. That's what you're going to decide to do. Hopefully tomorrow, he'll wake up fresh, re restored, respected, I was going to say. Maybe not respected, because, you know, everyone's still shitting on the floor. Respected, restored, and he's going to start working on those pipes. I can see it now. Okay, no, he's going to stop. <clears throat> he's going to start working on the sofa, but after that, the pipes are next on the list, right? Paved tile. Oh, in the bathrooms. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Plumbing. 
There we go. He's done it. The madman. Oh, shit. He's done a lot of the plumbing, too. So it, there is actually plumbing there, but because there's floors there, it's, it kind of a, is a little bit misleading. I'll go ahead and remove those just so we can see them a bit more clearly. Good. The madman. He's doing it. There we go. All right. That's what we want to see. I, the big issue there was we didn't have any steel. I thought we had more steel than what we had. Ooh, a slave caravan. Um, We could buy ourselves some of our first arena contestants. What do we think? I think not a bad idea. Plus, it also means maybe we could get ourselves a dedicated hauler so that... um. We could, you know, expedite work a little bit. Jerry King? No, no, no. Diz Walney, he's our best trader. I would need you to go and trade with Rabbit and see what they've got. All right. We can not afford anyone. God damn it. Can we sell them some herbal medicine? Nope. Um, okay, we actually can't buy anyone because we haven't got anything they want to buy. Um, Trader's this trader wants to buy. They want to buy insect jelly and pemmican. They want to buy herbal medicine, silver, structures, like, like sculptures. That's it. I want to buy humans. Obviously, they want to buy humans. Do you want to buy Diz Waltney? You guy's a dick. You're going to have him for free. No, you can't. He's, he's a great guy. Look at him. He's up at 3 a.m. harvesting the crops, ready for a fresh day tomorrow. So, as you can see, there's a lot less dirt. There is still some dirt because, you know, mats aren't 100% efficient. But it's mostly centered around this front door. We've got some where they've been traipsing in and out and in and out. And a lot of that is going to be coming from this, obviously, this dirt inside the, uh, inside the bathrooms there. But Jerry King is quickly going to put a stop to that because this man cannot be stopped. Uh, okay, maybe he can be stopped because he's hungry. He just picked up a simple meal? Okay, I guess this is lunch for later on. Fair enough. 6 a.m., so he's going to be going to bed soon, but hopefully he can at least finish a couple more of these bathrooms. No? Does he have to play chess? What do we move the chess set indoors rather than having it all the way out there in the middle of nowhere? Where can we put it, though? Um, see if he's going to go there. The billiard table needs a decent amount of space around it. Um, why don't we put it... I don't really know, to be honest with you. There's no real good place to put it right now, is there? Put it in the hallway, I guess, but it's a little bit congesting. Sure, we'll put it there instead. Um, reinstall at here. We'll take the other chair and reinstall it at here. Wait, hang on, rotate it first, genius. Reinstall it at... There we go, perfect. So that is hopefully going to prevent them going all the way out to go and play chess. I don't know why he's not playing billiards or, you know, just lounging around or something. Whose trousers are these? We've apparently got someone's trousers. Did we stop trying to tame the rhino? What happened with that? Wildlife? R rhino? Tame a wild animal? We still haven't tamed it. I guess it's because Alrang's busy doing shit tons of other stuff. Why are you harvesting? Alrang, you know what? You're off the harvest. I'm going to be honest. You're not allowed to harvest anything else. You have way more important stuff to do. Like, for example, training that rhino. No? No, he's just going to research his head. Why is he not training the rhino out of interest? Uh, where is the rhino? Prioritize taming rhino? Taking rice? Why is he not doing that anyway? Sorry, let me just double check. Handle? Train? Maybe it's under Train? Tame wild, tame wild animals, right, there we go. Okay, that's harvest resources and slaughter animals is handle. We should have set him to tame. That's my own fault. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that, that that's how the, the job splitters split things up there. Understandable, have a great day. How is the other queen doing? She's off mining. That seems like a pretty good job for her, to be honest with you. And Diz Waltney, back in action. Look at this man. Can you please haul this shit? Let's get him to haul this. No, 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 because he can't haul. Oh, that's unbelievably annoying. Gift from the White Antelope Tribe. They left us two medicine. Oh shit, thank you. So the more tribes like you and the more factions get on, you, on with you, the chances are they'll leave you gifts. And they actually did leave us real medicine as well, not herbal medicine. I guess maybe they weren't interested in it, couldn't use it, didn't appreciate its true value. But that's really, really good seeing as... um. Oh, we do have a decent amount of medicine. I was going to say we don't have much left, but I suppose we haven't really used much. It was only Jerry King that really became ill, isn't it? Jerry King, he's awake. He's ready to work. No, he's not. He's relaxing socially. Actually, can you start working though? Using the latrine. Nice. We could plumb the latrines or at least put it on the plumbing. What do we do that? Just see if that helps, you know, prevent it being so filthy. I can't wait for him to finish these floors so we don't have to have anybody cleaning at all. Because that's a really good way to get easy mood buffs without, you know, without having to waste anybody's time either. It's a real shame having dedicated cleaners. And, and if we can avoid that, it would be really good. Because right now, it's, this one is basically his primary job besides keeping the colony alive with their delicious, delicious food and vegetables. Wow. The bedrooms are finished. The bedrooms are finished. The bathrooms are finished. I never thought I'd see the day. Can we now go hygiene? Go toilet? Make it out of steel? Because I think a wooden toilet... Honestly, that sounds just the worst thing I've ever heard. That actually sounds so disgusting. Right. Four toilets. That's going to be AC steel. Do we have the steel? We have the steel. Jerry King, let's work on this plumbing. Right now, my friend. Get them finished. Oh my god, I can't... I absolutely cannot wait. Wait, no... What's wrong with that? Why is it why is it why is it red? Why is it red though? Are they not plumbed in? I mean they're plumbed into a steward. Oh, I suppose they've got no water supply in the first place. Huh. 
How are we going to fix that water well, I guess? Stores water for use by plumbing fixtures. If contained water becomes contaminated, the tank must be drained. Damn it, we're going to need water purification, aren't we? Pumps waters from wells to towers. Water well. Let's just go ahead and put down this water well. Replace this one, or at least keep that one there until we finish this one. Cancel that. Finish off this well, then. Is it, sorry, this is an electric well, isn't it? So we're going to need to plumb that one in, I guess, or at least power it somehow. God, this is taking ages, a long time to build this. I suppose he's digging a well to his credit. Does it need electricity or am I going crazy? Pump to water capacity. Zero out of three, seven, seven a day. I suppose we do need a tower as well to store it, don't we? Fair enough. Wooden water tower. Um, we might as well put it nearby just for efficiency's sake, I guess. Um, I suppose we could build a couple of those. Couldn't hurt. Let's go ahead and dismantle that one. Jerry King, get rid of this one. He's done it, the madman. Build the water wooden water tower. All right, let's see if this works. Let's see if I can figure this out before the end of the damn episode. And I can focus on more important things like a death arena. There we go. Is that filling up? N no. Um, what, what do I need? Hang on. Pumps water from wells. So, okay, the way I'm understanding this, that is just a tap to the water. It's connected to the wooden water tower, but there's no actual, you know, movement. There's no physics behind it. I think we need a wind pump. And I think with all of those things, we might actually have ourselves a successful water pump. At least that's my plan. I hope that's how it works, because otherwise I'm drawing a blank here. Um, we'll, we'll plumb it in as well. There we go. Um, I assume that's, that's all we need to do there, right? And we're going to need to um, pave off the area in front of it and behind it as well, because it is a mill. Um, and we can actually get them to do that with the main mills as well here. Floors, concrete. Let's just go ahead and pave over there. Oh my god, there's a swamp. You know what, let's not worry about it too much. It is my swamp, so I don't care about it that much. Blocked by bamboo tree. Seriously? Jerry King, I have a job for you. If you choose to accept it, I need you to pave over just about everything in this general area. Right, what have we got? Uh, we might as well just genuinely go ahead and just pave over the entire friggin' area. There we go. Nice. You work on that. Concrete doesn't take too long to play, so hopefully this won't use up too much of his precious, precious Jerry King time. And again, we'll carry on with that plan that I sort of... Um, had blueprinted earlier on. We'll go ahead and concrete around all of this just so they can move between the farms quicker. Not muddy their feet so much either. There we go. Alright, Jerry King, finish off this windmill. Windmill? Wind pump? Whatever. Just finish it off. Is this gonna work? Are we actually gonna get... It's still not filling up. What the fuck? What have I done wrong? Um, blocked by teak tree. Maybe it's just not... Wait, pump? Is it working now? Hang on. No? I'm so tilted right now. Still plumbing. Oh, right. He hasn't finished the pipe. Hey, Dick, do you want to go finish off the plumbing like I said? Now how are we looking? <gasps> He's done it. The genius. Piped water stored. Look at this. It's working. The wind pump is powering the actual pump, which is pumping the water into the tank. My God. The water supply. It might actually be finished. Um, shit. <laughs> um... We're going to have to do that as well, though. Uh, Evergreen, if I could get you prioritizing mining that out so we can actually finish off our water supply. Holy shit. That's insane. I thought it would never happen, but I think we've actually done it for once in our damn lives. Um, shower. Shower? Bathtub? Shower. Steel shower? We'll put that next to the vent because that's... No, you know what? We'll put it... I don't know. Doesn't really matter too much, does it? Wherever it is aesthetically pleasing here. There we go. We've got water. We have toilets upstream. Maybe we should have a separate grid for toilets. I don't really know how that works. Whether or not we'll be pumping shit water straight onto Aurang's head. Um, might not be the best idea in hindsight, but we'll wait and see how it works. Everqueen, I need you to uh, mine this one as well. She might actually get it done. Who needs Jerry King when you have the Everqueen? Finish off all of this plumbing. You get compa no, no, no. Jerry King. Jerry King. Jerry King. Jerry King. Finish this off. I want this done by the end of the episode. No pressure, but I, I actually want this done by the end of the episode, though. Prioritize working on... Oh, just eat your meal. Ooh, meditating. Of course. Who needs fresh water when you can meditate in your bedroom for two hours? Are you done yet? Two, two, three hours? Three hours of meditation with Jerry King. He's a very zen man. Understandably. I would be zen too if I had no frigging fresh water. Cooking meals. You know what, Jerry King? I'm, I'm taking over. I'm taking control of this operation. Construct, Jerry King. No longer can you cook. You must now construct. Yeah, okay. I don't need you doing this, though. This is not important. This is nowhere near as important as fresh water. 
fuck. Okay, we're gonna have to plan all that out again. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Watch this. Ready? The man's done it. <laughs> He's slowly done it. <laughs> Fresh water. And toilets. Working toilets. We've done it. <gasps> Holy shit. Four episodes and we've got running water. Thank you for watching. Achievement get. Fresh water. Now they're all going to die of fucking dysentery or something because we're pumping shit water straight into Aurang's glorious, glorious mohawk. That'll do. Shout out to all of my patrons. <laughs> Sean Thornton, Danny Good, Zachary Harris, Josh Lindy and Tesla, Lucas Halting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspiracy, James Ogilvy, Escape, Jackson Whitman, At the Top Tier, The Best Boys, and of course everyone else as well, the, the, the other Best Boys, Brennan Matoniak, Felix Steele, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Noblesse, Quet Larchley, Zar Reven, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Shoe Palpatine, I Am the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Yoran DeVries, Euphrates, Don Connie 2 and 7, Jordan Camelon, Asaro. I don't want to see any more pipes for the rest of my life. I'm done. I'm, this is officially a no pipe channel. Pipes are banned.